Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Technicode Buddy. I hope you all are doing extremely well and the placement preparation is also going well. Well guys, first of all, if you are new to this channel or haven't subscribed this channel till now, then do consider subscribing this channel as this really motivates me to make more such content for you and for your placement preparation. Well guys, in this video, we are going to solve a coding question that is recently asked in Exchanger on campus exam. Okay, so without wasting your time, let's get started with the video. So this is the question. First of all, let me take the pen. Okay. So given an array containing n elements, each element is either 0 or 5. So there will be an array which contains n elements and each of the element is either 0 or 5. All right. Now, find the largest number divisible by 90 that can be made using any number of elements of this array and arranging them in any way. Now, what is the problem? That you have to arrange the array elements in such an order that the number that is formed will be divisible by 90 and that number should be the maximum number, right? With the help of fives and zeros, you have to form a number, you have to make a number that is divisible by 90 and that number should be the maximum number that can be formed using these elements, all right? So this is all about your problem. Now, Suppose there is the first test case and the array elements are these 5, 5, 5 and 0 and 5, 5. So what will be the number that will form and that will be divisible by 90? So this number will be the maximum number that can be divisible by 90. Okay. So this will be the number. All right. So how many 5s are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10. So 10 fives are there and only 1 0 is there. Okay. So the maximum possible number is this and this is divisible by 90. All right. Now let's see second test case. So in the second test case, only 1 5 is there and only 1 0 is there. So what is the maximum possible number we can make from these elements? So this will be 50 only. But whether 50 is divisible by 90? Whether 50 is divisible by 90 or not? So 50 is not divisible by 90. So the answer will be 0 in that. So how we can code it? How we can solve this question? So by seeing 90, we can say that it is the multiple of 9 and 10. All right. Now, if we can find a number that is a multiple of 9 as well as 10. So that number can be divisible by 90 also. Right. By seeing 90, we can say that this is the multiple of 9 and 10. And now by seeing 9 and 10, if we can find a number that will be divisible by both from 9 as well as 10. So that number will be divisible by 90 also. All right. Now, first of all, we need to check if the number is divisible by 9 and if the number is divisible by 10. Okay. So what is the divisibility rule of 9? So if a number, suppose this is 27. So what is the divisibility rule of 9 is if the sum of digits of a number is divisible by 9, then that number will be called as divisible by 9. Okay. Now, suppose this is 27. So we have to check whether it is divide, uh, divisible by 9 or not. So first of all, what we will do, we will take the sum of the digits. Okay. So 2 plus 7 will be 9 only. So whether 9 is divisible by 9. So yes, it is divisible by 9. So we can say that 27 is divisible by 9. Okay. Now, uh, suppose if we have to check 11. So we will uh, sum out of these digits. 1 plus 1 will be 2. Whether 2 is divisible by 9? So no. So we can find out that 11 is not divisible by 9. Okay. So this is the divisibility rule of 9. Now, let's check the divisibility rule of 10. So what is the divisibility rule of 10? If a number contains 0 at its 1's place, then we can say that number is divisible by 10. Okay? So we have finished with the divisibility rule of 9 as well as 10. Okay? There is some, uh, some mathematics-based concept. Okay? Just see and listen to me carefully what I'm saying and what I'm doing. Okay? So we, we just need to find a number that will be divisible by 9 as well as 10. So we can say that the number is divisible by 90 also. Okay, now when we code it, so there can be three possibilities that can encounter in our code, right? So the very first possibility will be, 
if so if the count of zero in our array is zero that means there will be no any zero that means only there will be five 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 so in that case we can conclude that the maximum formation uh, the maximum formed number will not be divisible by 10 and if a number is not divisible by 10 so the number cannot be divisible by 90 also so in that case what we need to return we need to return minus one okay because we cannot make such a number that can be divisible by 90 if the count of zero is zero in our array now what can be the second possibility that can encounter in our code so the uh, second possibility is if the count of five count of five is zero so if the count of five is zero that means our array contain only zero 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 so in that case answer will be zero only right so answer will be zero in that case now the, now if these both conditions are false then we can quote now then we can quote further and what we will do we will group all the fives in the group of nines we will group all the fives in the group of nines why we will do so because suppose there is a count of five will be suppose count of five will be 11 okay in our array the count of five suppose this is our array just let me take a rough example suppose this is our array and there is 11 5 5 5 5 5 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 0 0 okay so there are total 13 elements and there are 11 fives and two zeros okay so after seeing this we can say like we can uh, arrange them in such order like 11 5 as it is and 0 0 so we can make uh, the possible maximum number this is maximum number but this number is not divisible by 90 why because this summation of 5 5 5 11 times 5 will be 55 whether 55 is divisible by 9 or not no no whether 55 is divisible by 9 or not why we are why we are considering 9 because the number will be divisible by 90 only when if it is divisible by 9 and 10 both this is why we are considering 9 divisibility here right so if there are 11 fives so we cannot consider all 11 fives so what can we consider to make a maximum number to make a maximum form number so we will take the maximum value and the nearest value to the 9. We will take the maximum value and the nearest value 9. But the value should be less than 11. So what it will do? This value can be 9 only. Right? So we will take y9. So if we take 9, 5. So what will be the sum? Sum will be 45 only. If 45 is divisible by 9 or not? Yes, it is divisible by 5. Uh, sorry, 9. So this is why we are taking just 9, 5 to make the maximum form number that will be divisible by 90. That means 9 and 10 both. I hope it makes sense. I hope it is clear to you. So the maximum count of 9 will be 9 only. The maximum count of 9 will be 9 only. So now I hope it makes sense and it is clear to you. So let's we can code it in our VS code. So let's code it. Okay, so first of all, let me complete the function. So first of all, what we will do we will initialize the count of 0, just a minute, 0 as 0. And we will initialize the count of 5 as 0, right? Now, we will traverse our array. And in that array, we will count how many 5s are present and how many zeros are present. Okay. So, if the current element of array is equals to 0, then what we need? We need to increment the count of zero okay as as this array only made up of two elements that means zero and five so if zero is not present there then must be five will be there to so people increment the count of five all right till now it is clear i hope okay so let's come out of this for loop now what we will do we will check if the count of five is greater than just a minute uh, just i'm writing something okay i will tell you why i write like this okay so count of five divide by nine into nine 
Okay. So I will tell you why I wrote this line and why it is needed here. Now, here we will check if count of zero. These are our possibilities that can encounter in our code. So if count of zero is equals to zero, means there is no any zero. So that means there are only five. And why consider only five? We cannot form a number that will be divisible by nine, 90. Sorry. Right. So in that case, what we have to do? We have to simply return minus one. That means we cannot consider an array that can be formed by considering only five and that will be divisible by 90. All right. Now in next case, if else if count of five is less than nine, is less than nine, then what we will do? I will tell you why I consider this less than nine. Then what we will do? It will be uh, just a minute, just a minute. So we will simply print zero and and then we need to return, right? So yeah, that's all for this and this, yeah. So now what we need to do, we need to simply run our while loop for all the count of five. Okay, first of all, we need to print five now. So for all the count of five, we will printing five only, right? Then what we will be printing, then we will be printing while count of zero till zero and then we will be printing zero only, right? And here, see out and then. So let's run this code and then I will tell you the basic logic of this. Okay, so there are test cases. This three is for three sample test cases. 10 is the first array length or we can say first array size and there we have passed element. The next array size is six and there we have passed element. The next array size is two and there we have passed element. Right, so let's run this code and let's check the output of it. Uh, there is something missing, semicolon or something like that. So where it is, yeah, at return it is missing. So let's again return, compile. So we got our answer. Now let's dry run this code. Okay, first of all, let me take my pen tab. Okay, and let me take the pen. Okay, so first, our array size is 10 and there are nine fives and only zero, one zero. Okay, so what will be the maximum uh, possible number is five times, uh, sorry, nine times five and then zero. So it will be divisible by 90. So the maximum possible is, number is this. Now, for the array length six, we passed five, five, five. So the maximum, so just take the maximum number that can be formed by using these elements. So the maximum number will be Five 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 zero 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 only, but we have to check whether this number is divisible by ninety or not. So let's check. If it is divisible by nine and ten both, then it can be divisible by ninety also. So this number is divisible by ten. All right. Now, is it is is it completely divisible by nine? So we will take the sum of each digit. Okay. So five plus five will be ten plus five is uh, fifteen. Fifteen zero zero zero. So it will be fifteen. Sum is 15. Now check whether 15 is divisible by 9. No, no. So we cannot consider this number. We cannot consider this number. So what we need to do is we need to return 0. We need to return 0. This can be only the possible maximum number and it cannot be uh, divisible by 90. Okay. Or what we can do? We can take like suppose this 500 zero, zero, like that. Okay. So again the possible sum will be uh, 15 only. So that we cannot consider as 15 is not divisible by 90. So we cannot consider this number. So we will return zero simply or we can print simply zero. Okay. And for two, five and zero, we can make 50 only as the maximum number, but 50 is not divisible by 90. So in that case also, we need to return zero. Now the actual question arises is where, first of all, just let me erase it all. The actual question is arises here at line number 13. Why we write it like this? 
So suppose uh, we have passed our array size as 12 and there are five, uh, there are 11 fives, okay? There are 11 fives and there are, there is only one zero. So all elements 12, but the count of five is 11 and the count of zero is one, all right? Now, we can make the maximum number as 5, 5, 5, 11 times 5 and then at last 0. But when we sum all of the digits of this, so what we will get as the sum? 11 into 5 will be 55. Is 55 divisible by 90 or not? No, no. So we cannot consider this number. All right, it is maximum, but we cannot consider as this is not fulfilling our condition that the number should be divisible by 90. So what we will take? We will reduce the number of 5. Okay. So, suppose we just take 2 5s and uh, 0 0. Uh, suppose we take 10 5s and last of 0. So, 10 5 makes 50. Right. So, is 50 is divisible by uh, 9 or uh, 90 or not? So, no. So, again, reduce the count of 5. So, 9. Okay. So, 9. If we take 9 5, so it will be 45. So, whether 45 and last uh, digit will be 0. So, whether it is divisible by 90 or not. So, it will be divisible by 90. It will be divisible by 90. Okay. So, 9, 5. This time, 9, 5, 9, 5. So, the sum of all this will be 45. So, it can be divisible by 90. Right? It can be. And at the last, it will be 0 now. So, it will be divisible by 90. So, this is how we can conclude that that number will be uh, divided by, uh, divisible by 90 completely. Now, the second thing to understand here is that why here we are considering that count of 5 is less than 9, then, then we need to print 0. Okay. So, suppose there is an array that contains, okay, let's take this test case. This array contains only 6 elements and 3 or 5 there. So, here the count of 5 is 3, right? Now, now the maximum possible formation of this is 5550000, but this number is not divisible by 90. So let's reduce 1, 5. Okay. So we will take 55000. So this number is again not divisible by 90. So again, we can reduce the number to this. So this number is again not divisible by 90. So in that case, we didn't find any number and if any possible number that can be divisible by 90. So in that case, what we will do, we will simply print 0 and we return from there. We return from there. We don't go anywhere. We don't traverse. We don't traverse in that array anymore. So we will return from here, and then we can uh, do our next process. So this is how the code is working. I hope it makes sense. I hope it is clear to you. So I will put this code in the Telegram community. You can join the Telegram community, and I will put this uh, question as well. So do join our Telegram community. So yeah, that's all for today from my side. I hope the code was clear to you. I hope the explanation was clear to you. But first of all, you should dry run of this code by taking multiple examples. Okay, so, so uh, then only you will be better understanding of that code. So yeah, let's meet in the next video. Till then, bye bye and take care.